everybody and welcome back to uh, yet another Minecraft redstone invention. Today I have a pretty cool redstone invention for you guys and this is a toll gate in Minecraft. So essentially what this toll gate is, is it is a barrier blocking us from heading over to that other side. Um, however, we can pay this one diamond fee right here and we will be allowed to cross over the toll gate and head on to the other side. It's a pretty cool redstone contraption, very simple to build, doesn't require too much. I will be doing a full tutorial on it, and it includes both an entrance and an exit to the toll gate. Anyway, allow me to show you guys how to operate this thing. So you can put this thing, um, you know, if you're on a server, you could put it at the entrance of some sort of mob farm. Uh, if you, you want to charge people to enter your mob farm or something like that, uh, this thing's very simple to build and works like a charm. So here's how you use it. Um, all you gotta do is stand up right next to the toll gate, then go ahead and put your one diamond in that dropper right there. Uh, the piston will fire along with another piston which sticks up a block and it will pull you to the other side of the toll gate. So very simple, doesn't really require anything fancy, and just like that you're on the other side of the toll gate. Now this can be accomplished very easily um, with just like a door right here, but the cool thing about this is it's only gonna really work with one person because you can only have one person standing in on that one little block right there and then they're gonna be paying the diamond and just being sucked through so it's very great if you're gonna have like a lot of people and you don't just want people sneaking in through um, just a little pay gate so this is a very nice toll gate using the uh, the new pistons and on the opposite entrance here um, we set up a free version of the toll gate. So this guy, you don't actually have to pay anything, uh, but rather there's a button right here. You push the button and it pulls you through. So very simple to operate. Um, and the redstone behind it is pretty tiny. Now over here, I have it set up um, to where it is just uh, one or the other. So if you guys just need an entrance, um, you can build that and it's fine. And if you guys just need an exit or you want like some sort of free gate, um, you know, as a person counter to like an event. I don't know if you're hosting a Minecraft stadium and you want a bunch of pay toll gates outside the gate, this would be a cool way to do it. Um, and this is the redstone behind it. So it's not too bad. Now keep in mind this redstone here is for both the entrance and the exit. So if you only want to build one or the other, you're only going to have to do half of this redstone. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so getting started, here are all the materials that you're gonna need to build this redstone device. Now keep in mind, this is for both the entrance and for the exit. If you're gonna wanna build it separately, then it's gonna require a couple less items. Anyway, you're gonna need some blocks of iron. I just like to use that for the nice aesthetic look of the toll gate. Um, and a bunch of building blocks, two sticky pistons, two hoppers, two normal pistons, nine dots of redstone, three redstone repeaters, seven torches, some half slabs, a couple chests, a button, a dropper, and one redstone comparator. Okay, so all I went ahead and did here was I created the little outline for the toll gate, uh, but once we have this guy set up, wherever you want your toll gate to be, we're gonna go ahead and place one piston facing towards us. This is going to be a normal piston. Um, then we're gonna come over here, out a little bit, and then right here under this block, we're gonna go ahead and place an upwards facing sticky piston and then we can replace that block on it. And the floor is just gonna fill in right there like that. Okay, so going over to the side, this block right here is where we are actually going to place ourselves a little dropper. Now make sure this guy is a dropper and not a dispenser. Honestly, you could use either of them, but I just like a dropper a little bit better. Um, then we're gonna place a hopper facing into that side. We're gonna go ahead and grab our couple chests and place them right here. We're using trap chest. You don't really have to. I don't know why I'm using trap chest. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead off of this hopper right here, go ahead and take a comparator signal coming on out. Then we're gonna come over, down, over, and over again like that. Then we're gonna go two dots of redstone right there, a repeater, and have that guy going into a torch. Just like that, that's a very simple sorting device. Um, now we're gonna have this dot of redstone going into a block, then put a torch on the side of that guy. Um, then we're gonna do a repeater right there, two dots of redstone, put two blocks just like that, two torches, we're gonna put a block right up there, and then we're gonna come on over, put a dot of redstone right there, and finally, one more block. Um, now you can go ahead and sort of fill in the floor a little bit. You are gonna have to use a couple half slabs. One goes right there. That's just so it doesn't block the redstone because um, if you put a full block, that redstone won't connect up. So half slab right there. And then I also like putting a couple half slabs above 
um, the chest right here so that way you can actually access it. That's kind of weird. Why are we using trap chest? All right, let's snag a, uh, a normal chest here and booyah. There we go. Perfect. Um, so now it's actually going to work. There's one thing left you guys have to do, and that's going to be put whatever you want your payment to be inside of this hopper. So we're going to go ahead and use diamonds. It does have to be an item that can stack up to 64. Uh, but once you pick up your item, put 18 in the first slot and then one in all of the other slots, just like that. Um, and that way, if you go up here and try to put in something like a trap chest, it's not going to accept it. But if you put a diamond, it will accept it and it'll pull you on through the toll gate. Pretty cool, pretty simple, pretty awesome. And then um, all of your items will go ahead and funnel into the chest right there, uh, which you can collect your goodies once you do the toll gate. All right, so let's go ahead and do the exit. So the first step, we're gonna make a little bit of an outline. However, this time, instead of actually putting a dropper here, we're just gonna place, not a torch, but a little button facing in the upwards direction. So now let's go ahead and put in our pistons. Again, we are going to want to put a normal piston facing towards us this time, and then come over here and just under this block again, we are going to place another sticky piston in the upwards direction, just like so. So now come on down from the button here. We're gonna put a dot of redstone right there, going into a torch. Come on down one, two, then we're gonna place another dot of redstone and another dot of redstone, have this guy going into a block, and then a torch on the side. That's gonna go ahead and activate that sticky piston right there. Now what we're gonna do, have this guy going into a block, then we're going to place ourselves a repeater on two ticks of delay, have this guy going into another block. Right here, we're going to place ourselves a dot of redstone, come on up, another dot of redstone, then a block right there, and a torch on the back of that guy, and that's gonna activate the other piston. So very simple stuff. Now when you push the button, both of the pistons fire, and you get sent over to the other side. So yeah, that is pretty much it. If you guys really want to, you can put up some signs here, um, just sort of directing people, so that way they know what to pay, what the payment method is, and how to sort of operate the machine. I like putting some iron blocks right here. Just makes it look a little bit nicer, and also tells them where to stand. Uh, then we can go ahead and fill up all of this side. Cool, just like that. And you have yourselves a little bit of a toll gate. So it's a pretty cool build. Um, I definitely enjoyed making it and hopefully it's at least useful to one of you guys. Um, keep in mind the payment method. It can be whatever you want to be. You don't always have to use a diamond. And then on the free side, push the little button and you'll be good to go. It'll also be very useful um, to know that it only works for one person who's standing right on top of this block. That's why it's uh, much more unique than just using a door, because if you use a door, one person could pay, and then, you know, five people could walk inside, and you wouldn't really have a legitimate um, way of getting in. Um, but with this way, if you're standing out here and you're not actually on the dropper, and in this little um, spot right here, then you're not gonna get pulled through the piston. Um, same thing on the exiting side. So anyway, my name is Crew. Hope you all enjoyed. There will be a world down the link down in the description if any of you guys need some help building this thing. Um, it should be really simple. And then keep in mind, uh, if you don't want to have you know both here, you can always destroy half of it or just not build part of the machine, and you'll be good to go to just rock and roll with either a free to pay toll gate or a toll gate where you actually have to pay something. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Crew, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.